Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we will be reacting to Nichijo episode 15. And in the last episode, Nano finally started her first day of school, and of course Mio was the first person to approach her. Everybody else thought that she was weird, because of course she had that giant key in her back. But Mio didn't mind it, she approached her, and then eventually Mai and Yuko came along. Now, it's funny because Yuko was the only person to kind of suss out that she might be a robot. But of course, Mio and everyone, they were like, nah, what are you talking about? There's no way she's a robot, when in actuality she is, and I'm sure they're going to be finding out very, very soon. So, let's see if we get any of that in this episode here. If you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like. While you're down there, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget that over on Patreon, if you join the $2 tier, then you get all of my uncut reactions. And if you join the $5 tier, then you get to check out next week's episode one week ahead of everybody else on YouTube. But with that all out of the way, let's get into this episode. Alright, we're at the school. She thinks Nano's good at math? Ah, uh, she's still uh, not giving up. She still thinks she's a robot. She's trying to convince her, though. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny because she's so on point. She's 100% correct, but no one believes her. Does she know the answer? <laughs> Her fail-proof plan. Maybe Hakase didn't enroll her with a calculator. Also, why did she bring an abacus to school? <laughs> They're like, she's even dumber than us! <laughs> Oh. Oil. <laughs> she brought oil to school instead of water. See, they gotta just give up. It's so funny because Nano really isn't like a robot at all. But of course, Mai brings oil to school. What's she gonna do with it? She just puts it in her bag. <laughs> Thanks for the gift. A wrench? What's she gonna do with this? Tighten some bolts? <laughs> Dude, nothing works. Like I said, Nana was really exactly like a normal girl. The only difference is that dumb key in her back. <laughs> what? What the heck? <laughs> What's a random loose screw doing in her mouth? Oh my, caught it in 4K! She's not slipping away this time. What's my gonna do with the footage though? She gonna show it to Yuko? She gonna blackmail her? What's going on here? Who is this? What? Who is this talking? Wait, who is this? Is she a teacher? Wait, what? I want to make her my own. You're going to have to get through Hakase. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny to think that like a six-year-old girl just inve invented this super complex robot. <laughs> she dumped out a full cup of coffee just for this. Wait, she's over- I just realized she's over here making coffee with a Bunsen burner. That's hilarious. Let's see. Things seem normal. Oh, she mixed them, didn't she? Yeah, she <laughs> mixed them up. <laughs> 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 
I like her already. I can already see where this is going. Meanwhile, Nano's chillin'. Thanks for the coffee. <laughs> that was an utter failure right there. <laughs> They're just like, ah, she fell over. It's just another Tuesday. <laughs> Man. She just wants to be a normal girl. <laughs> why, is she, why is she sitting in that chair? That is way too high for her. Please, for her sake, please get rid of the key. Oh my gosh, and that's why she keeps it. No? No, I don't trust it. And there goes the hand. I was gonna say, how does Hakusei plan to make her popular, but whatever she has planned, I don't trust it. Don't tell me that's what I think it is. <laughs> oh, what the heck? What is it? Is that like a bean shooter? Dang, she's out cold. That is actually a pretty good question. Like, why- I wonder what would happen if she did just come out and say she was a robot. Sweet buns from the forehead. Don't the sweet buns come from like three different locations? Oh no, there goes the other arm. Oh, what is that? Ew, is that a worm? Chikua? What the heck is Chikua? Mushroom? <laughs> and she's down again. She has to be more careful what she installs into Nano because <laughs> these weapons are not helping her out. What? <laughs> but the funny thing is, Hakase knew exactly when it was gonna go off. She has a toaster installed in her head? Wait, is this the same- Oh, dang! I hope this isn't the same Daifuku guy that got arrested. Cause he is just- he's not having a good season. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You might as well just hang it up, dude. Hang up the Daifuku mask. Mm. Okay, plan B. Robot disabler. Dang, this is a lot more freaking sinister than the first one. It's one thing to put her to sleep, but it's a completely different thing to tase her and capture her. It's a different kid, isn't it? Oh no, this poor guy. Of course it's him, too! This guy is always getting the worst of it. Oh man, he probably just came back from the ER after the last episode, too. When he, um, Yuko launched that cup at him and gave him a concussion. Oh, we got a rebel here. She's so short. I thought that this was her when she was younger or something. Oh, is this her son, maybe? That would explain why he's talking to her like this. That's what I was about to say. Mad disrespectful. And this guy, his world is just collapsing because he likes her, right? And he thinks that she's like flirting with this uh, other guy at school. 
But that has to be your son for sure. <laughs> that is not sloppy at all. That's what I'm saying! What the heck? What is his idea of sloppy? Oh my gosh. This is basically just his fantasy. <laughs> his fantasy is running wild. This is a new little side segment. What the heck? What is wrong with this dog? You know what? It's Mai's dog. I shouldn't even be surprised. It's probably just as weird as her. Oh man, we have Ed-chan! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> there, there it is! There it is, the classic. <laughs> oh god, this is gonna go on all day, isn't it? Oh wow! She actually had an explanation for it. What is he planning to do? Oh, he's running away! Where's he going? <laughs> Why, does... <laughs> Why does it look like he's running so fast but going nowhere at the same time? Oh, side story? Love story? Guy thinks he's so cool, huh? I wonder if they're gonna follow up on that anymore. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he stole her thunder. She wanted to push it. Honestly, it is oddly satisfying. You feel like you have some level of control over the bus. Like when I used to take the city bus, we didn't have a button, but it was like a like a line that you would grab and pull it down. And there it is. So this is her like um I guess getting back from I don't know, I guess making up for whatever satisfaction she missed out by pressing the button on the bus. Oh my god, that key must be so inconvenient. There's gotta be a catch. I don't trust it. Is she about to take a photo? Oh my god. Yeah, oh my god. I knew there was a catch. Nope. Hmm? She's thinking. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Hakase, why? <laughs> why are you like this? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hakase is the worst. I gave you funny bones. And we're seeing it in action right now. So do the funny bones just make her a freaking cartoon character? Yeah. She is so evil! <laughs> yep, yeah, just- this is probably good. Just get out of there. Before things get any worse. Good god, what <laughs> Alright, class is over. Oh no, what's Yuko got planned here? Okay, walking home together seems innocent enough. Mio's already gone. Where'd she rush off to? Nano's gone too! I think Nano knew that this was trouble. 
She has to sneak out of there ASAP. True. That does, I'm sure it probably feels pretty crappy for her, but... Like, just think about it. No other kids in the entire class has even spoken a word to her. And we got the, the science teacher still <laughs> trying to, I guess, get her hands on Nano. Don't tell me she's gonna snatch her up on her way home or something. Okay. What? I cannot read any of that. Are those prices? What the heck is that? T360? Oh, tall! Oh, those are sizes! Yeah, that's what I'm saying! What the heck? And what is S? Small? See, that doesn't make sense! A tall, small? Dude, honestly, I feel like this is everyone's first experience. The first time they go to a Starbucks. Like, you have like, what, tall, grande, venti? What happened to small, medium, large? Oh no. Solo and Dapio, what the heck is that? Dude, I don't even blame Yuko. This is confusing as heck. It'd make more sense if they like laid out the cups and showed the different sizes. What? <laughs> How's, how are you gonna have your special be the same thing you order on the regular menu? Solo or what? Here we go again. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> I think she knows how hard this is on Yuko. That's why she's so nervous. What the heck is Dota? These have to be made up words, right? I can't even blame her, man. This is so dumb. Why not just stick with small, medium, large? Oh my god. And she gave her the smallest thing on the menu. What? <laughs> That's like a shot. <laughs> That's messed up. Out of all of the ways she could have made it, she could have made it. Why did she give Yuko the smallest one? Dang. And she doesn't know how to add like the toppings and the syrups and stuff. She's never coming here again. That's all I know. And it's raining. With no umbrella is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, just stick to the vending machine, the tried and true. That's kind of what I used to do. Like, why would I go to Starbucks and make these super elaborate orders when I could just go to the gas station and get the, like, pre-made Starbucks drinks? Alright, we got the granddad and his grandkid again. He's gonna throw it like crazy, isn't he? Or he's gonna throw it short. I knew it! Curveball?! Dang, this kid's got some skills! Dang. Uh, come on, bro. <laughs> this is so messed up. How are you gonna make fun of her for ordering something on your menu, dude? <laughs> and why is this guy riding a goat like it's a horse? But this explains why Mio left early. Oh no. Yuko, don't do this. What's up? <laughs> you didn't even do anything! Oh, now she looks guilty. Ooh. Well, Yuko didn't buy anything, so we know it's not her. <laughs> Beige red striped tote bag. Wait, wait, she's sweating like crazy. Was it actually? What? Wait, what is she doing? 
Oh, maybe she just doesn't want him to- Oh, she brought it out already. Oh my god. It's a real bribe! <laughs> so yeah, I think she just doesn't want him to look in her bag. That's why she's giving up. I knew she wasn't actually guilty. Oh no... Poor Mio. Is she gonna try to explain it? Oh! Dang! One, two! <laughs> Holy! All of that effort for what? <laughs> Just give up, Yuko. What is she planning to do here? Oh my god! The freaking oh my god! That's a freaking alligator death roll. She's gonna have to take out all witnesses. Oh no! <laughs> like I said, all witnesses. Oh uh, goat! Sorry. Had to be you. Look the same move on the goat. <laughs> That's so messed up. <laughs> She just slammed a goat, dude. After the guy. Like, just four unconscious bodies left behind. <laughs> Mio is dangerous, dude. I'd hate to get on her bad side. The life of Koji, though. Alright, let's see what he's gonna deal with on a daily. Oh my god! That could literally give you a concussion, bro. You gotta be careful around animals, man. I've heard and read so many stories about, like, you know, horse trainers, and that's a dangerous line of work. And for one of them, it wasn't even her fault. I think, like, a horse got spooked by someone else. Like a car honking or something, and then... It did not end well. And she left a screw behind. We got more evidence for Mai, man. She's just gonna collect it up, build a case, and then reveal it all. I love these adorable transitions, where it's just them dancing. Oh no. <laughs> she said forget it. <laughs> What the heck? Also, why is the face gone? Oh, now she can't give up. <laughs> She's gonna make her open her hand. No offensive attacks. <laughs> One penalty. <laughs> 23 juices? Oh wait, wasn't that from season 1? Oh my god, what a callback! What? Obviously that has to be some sort of like Japanese game or something. And now we know that's the real hand. Yuko is so terrible at this. Oh my god. More character erases. Also, why are all of their faces gone? Do they just use the face first when erasing? But I agree, we used to have those erasers, like little animal erasers and stuff in school. Those were terrible. The best ones were just the plain, pink, like, rectangular erasers. Love like. No? Love story? Between two new characters? This looks like something out of a Studio Ghibli movie, man. Might as well. Oh, this is the guy! 
Bella's working at the stand and they got arrested. Dang! So it's his dad? No way! Oh, she found her house. Who are we gonna meet? Hakase? Or Nano? Oh, okay. <laughs> Immediately slammed the door in her face. And of course Hakase gets the door. This is gonna end in a disaster. Nano's right over here! <laughs> I love how there's just a whole conversation going on on the side that Nano doesn't even realize. Uh, no, nope, it's too late. You gotta get rid of the talking cat. <laughs> it's already revealed. <laughs> Might as well. But he's hungry! <laughs> you can't say no to that face. <laughs> I've said this once before, and I'll say it probably a hundred more times throughout this series. Sakamoto does not get paid enough for this. And look, Hakase is gonna reveal everything. You might as well just give it up, Nana. You might as well just give it up. <laughs> She's she doesn't get that wink cue. Oh no. Push here for T. Oh now you can't hide it. See, but this is what I thought would happen. If she revealed that she was a robot, people would just think she's cool. Cool word showdown. Wait, what? I don't get this game. Rhinoceros Beetle. Oh no, they're best friends now. This is bad. Wait, they're actually perfect friends together, dude. They even switched outfits. <laughs> just, you, you gotta just give it up. Or is Yuko just cool like that? There you go. Dang. See, you gotta have a little faith, Nano. Oh my god, that, like, effect that they did through the door was so cool. Oh? You already know she's coming back. Oh, I love this so much, man. Because, like, as far as we know, Hakase hasn't really had many friends up until this point. Or any friends up until this point. Yeah, just accept it. Accept the key. And look, now she's joining them. This is a oh, beautiful ending. Beautiful ending to the episode. You can't get much better than that. Besides... Bringing the other two over because now that Yuko's here that opens the door directly for Mio and Mai to stop by and all of them to be cool And then hopefully from there we can convince the other students to accept Nano for who she is But it all starts with Nano just Putting herself out there just being honest all right, so that was the end of the episode, and my question of the day for you guys is going to be what was your favorite segment of the episode? Now, of course, I think many of us are going to agree the last segment with Yuko coming over to Nano's house was the best segment, but I have to give an honorable mention to the coffee shop scene. That was so relatable on so many levels that I just I have to make it an honorable mention because I'm sure there's a number of us that have been in situations like that where we've like gone to a restaurant or gone to a coffee place and we see that they have like either some weird menu some words and names we don't understand on the menu and I feel like Starbucks is kind of infamous for that now Starbucks is so popular now that a lot of people know 
all of the different sizes and things to add to their drinks and stuff. But I imagine when Starbucks first started getting big, how confusing it must have been looking at their menu, seeing all of the different options, the weird names for different sizes and stuff. And I think Yuko embodied that perfectly. But let me know what was your favorite segment in the comment section down below. And with that, I'm going to head out. Thank you all so much for watching this far into the video. And I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.